finally figured out what the heck was going on here. So what's happening here is, let me change my pen. So let's take a look at three laborers or the workers per day. So at plant one, we have one knitting machine. And with one knitting machine and three workers, we can make a total of 13 t-shirts per day. At plan 2, we have two knitting machines, and with three workers, we can make 18 t-shirts per day. And at plan 3, we have uh, three knitting machines. With three workers, we can make 22. Now, the change from plan 1 to plan 2. Uh, well, when we increase one more plan, we have when we increase one more knitting machine with the same amount of workers, the amount of output we made actually increased by 5. When we went from plan 2 to plan 3, the output actually increased only by 4. From plan 3 to plan 4, only 2. Now this is what we mean by when plant size increase, the output for a given quantity of labor also increases because with the same labor, uh, the output increases, increased, it still increased. It went from 13, 18, 22, 24. But as the quantity of labor increased, diminishing returns occur for each plant because uh, from going to from plant one to plant two we in, we increased our output by five but from plant two to three we increased by only four uh, similarly from plant three to plant four we only increased by a mere two so this is what we mean by diminishing uh, diminishing returns uh, the more plants we add the less change we actually get so this is what we call the diminishing marginal product of capital. Now the marginal product of capital is the increase in output resulting from a one unit increase in the amount of capital employed, holding constant the amount of labor employed. So pretty much what we have here, the increase in output from 13 to 18 from a one unit increase in the amount of capital employed, which is our knitting machine, holding the amount of, uh, holding the amount of labor employed constant. So that's exactly what I showed you there. Now every firm's production function will show diminished marginal returns of labor and diminishing marginal returns to capital at some point. So no firm is impervious to this kind of uh, this kind of behavior. For each plant, if the firm has multiple plants, the diminishing marginal product of labor creates a set of short-run U-shaped cost curves for M's uh, marginal cost, average variable cost, and average total cost. So that's what we have here. Uh, but first, let's discuss this. So short-run cost and long-run cost. The average cost of producing a given product or a given output obviously varies and depends on the firm's plan because any firm any firm that we talk about, they're not the same as each other. They're not, they're not, um, they're not the same. They're unique. They're their own person or their own entity. So let's say that a firm has four different plants with one, two, three, or four knitting machines. Each plant has a short run average total cost curve, and a firm can compare the average total costs for each output at different plants. So. Let's see, how should I describe this? So, ATC1 is the average total cost curve for a plant with one knitting machine. So this blue, blue curve is the curve for a plant with one knitting machine. And ATC2 uh, is the ATC, is the curve for a plant with two, uh, two knitting machines, so the green curve. ATC3 is the ATC curve for a plant with three knitting machines, which is the purple curve, and ATC4, similarly, is the average total cost curve for a plant with four knitting machines, so the pink curve. So that's what we found out. These are our average total cost curves for the various uh, for the various knitting machines that we could have, right? So this uh, from this we can make a long run average cost curve and the average the long run average cost curve is actually made up from the lowest uh, average total cost for each output level we want to decide which plant has the lowest cost for producing at each output level so let's try 
to find the least cost way of producing a given output level. So suppose a firm wants to make uh, 14 t-shirts per day and I feel like I'm running out of time so what we're going to do is we're going to continue this in the next video. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next video for an exciting description of what the heck we are going to talk about with this graph. Uh, see you guys again next time. Uh,